KSI versus Logan Paul, the rematch lands on the Zoom. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest unboxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, before I get started, ESPN Plus UFC is coming up. Khabib Nurmagomedov, high off his win from, I don't know what you're thinking, you know, Conor McGregor. He's going to fight Poirier, who, you know, just looked really good in his last fight. Very strong, very powerful. ESPN Plus purchased the pay-per-view. It is coming on earlier than normal fights. I think in the West Coast, it's about 12, 12 in the afternoon. So make sure you, you purchase it. Use the link below. I'm an affiliate. It helps the channel. Now, Eddie Hearn in uh, Matchroom, they just confirmed that Logan Paul versus KSI, they're turning pro, fighting at the Staples Center November 9th for their rematch. Now, some of you guys who are just boxing fans may not even know who this is, but these are two YouTubers. They fought last year in Manchester, I think it is, and now they're trying to make it a, a USA event. It says, turning pro, no headgears, 10-ounce gloves, time to do it for real. Staples Center, DAZN, KSI, Logan Paul. So they're risking it all, you know, YouTube, fanfare, whatever. Um, and it's going to be on DAZN. So DAZN is actually pick, <laughs> picking this up. Um, let me go through a couple more of these tweets, and then I'll give you my thoughts. Um Excited to announce we've completed the global rights broadcast. Okay. KSI says pro fight, no head guards, November 9th. They kind of said the same thing, Logan Paul. So that's basically it. They're fighting November 9th. It's a rematch. The first fight went the distance, but now they're they're making it more of, you know, I guess a professional fight there. You know, what Conor McGregor did when he fought Floyd Mayweather. They're, they're turning pro as boxers. No headgears, and they're going to see who's who's the best or whatever. Um, it's cool, you know. Like, I, I don't really know because I don't know too much about KSI, Logan Paul, even though I'm a YouTuber. Like, I've been in the same spots as Logan Paul um, and Jake Paul. Like, they've been at fights that I've been at and stuff like that, so I've seen them, but I don't really know too much about, you know, their channel. I kind of do my thing i just know of them seen some videos and and things of that sort so you know it's cool i'm sure they have a market there's probably some money there just because the first fight there were a lot of people that watched him now the the thing that's um i guess i have a question about is the people watched the first fight and it turned out to be a big episode based on um the fight was on youtube now with it being on a paid subscription in the zone you know what is the what is that going to do you know, are people going to legally stream it? Are they going to actually purchase? I, I don't know. You know, I don't know enough about their fan bases to know what they would and wouldn't do because these aren't like typical boxers. But although I think there's some money there, you know, possibly from what I do know, they're popular YouTubers and stuff and there's some interest. I think this is kind of a desperation move from the zone. It really does very little for their their routine fan base i look at it like this these are two youtubers like unless they're planning on turning pro for real and you know getting in the mix and fighting anthony joshua's and you know whoever else is in their weight class kovala you know whoever then this is kind of like a gimmick you know what i'm saying is that's that's how boxing fans are going to perceive it they're going to look at it like all right this is just an event you know like a, a spectacle mayweather versus conor mcgregor type of thing where it's like you know, nobody expected Conor McGregor to stay in boxing, you know, maybe have future fights, but definitely not like Errol Spence. And then, you know, year upon year, he's fighting two, three times a year. You know, nobody really expected that. So I think it's kind of like this. So it's hit or miss. You know, I don't know how strong their fan base is. If, if um, people are going to be like, oh, yeah, and they're going to be rejoiced that they have to pay $20 a month or whatever for it. Some people might. Uh, we have to wait and see. But 
to me, a little bit of a desperation move. They're just trying to cash in on whatever they feel is, is a big event. The the thing that, well, another reason why I say kind of a desperation move for DAZN is because they need big fights and they're putting on a YouTube spectacle, you know, a YouTube spectacle. And the thing about it is this, aside from that all, is are you really going to generate long-term interest and long-term um fanfare or customers for life from a fight like this you know it doesn't really seem like this has longevity i guess is the way to put it because i don't think the the regular boxing fan base is going to um necessarily have the same interest as some of the the youtube generation and the the youthful generation and stuff like that so maybe they're just trying to get in and get out you know just get some money off of the the one-time event you know like boom 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 mayweather mcgregor i mean obviously it's not going to do that good i don't i mean i would imagine but hey i don't know it's the internet age but um maybe that's the goal maybe they are aware that this is not going to be like necessarily long-term customers but they they have a pulse and they think this is going to um you know be such a spectacle they can make a lot of money in the first the first fight but i, I really don't think it does much for the 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 long-term customer you know maybe some of the youtube generation kind of will watch it and, and get it but i don't see them like oh man now i'm turned on to the app uh, you know i'm gonna spend a hundred dollars and get it for the whole year because if anything some of their fan base probably just want to see this match you know and they're gonna make time to see this match but are they going to watch you know some of the other fights are they gonna watch you know, Estrada when he's on DAZN. Are they going to watch Daniel Roman? And then another thing with the DAZN curse, Daniel Roman is injured. This is like crazy. These DAZN fights get made and then people keep getting injured, failing drug tests. You know, it's just, it's a lot in a concentrated period of time. So it remains to be seen. It is what it is. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know KSI versus Logan Paul. Who are you picking in the rematch? Will you order DAZN? For this fight are you going to be in the staples center live to watch it drop all that in the comment section it's about to go down the rematch november 9th drop your thoughts in the comment section as always hate comment and subscribe to so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing